All right. So ladies and gentlemen, what they're asking us to do is find the complement and the supplement for our angle pi over 3 radians. So the first thing we want to do is we want to remember exactly what complement and supplement angles are. And then we want to look at where is my angle pi over 3. So first of all, let's just start out where pi over 3 is. So if I have an angle, remember we're going to start on our initial side, which would be our x-axis. And then we're going to rotate it pi over 3 radians. Well, remember, pi, if I just said rotate it pi radians, that would be halfway around a circle. right? If I rotated my angle all the way around, that would be pi radians. However, this is pi radians divided by 3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that angle and divide it into thirds. Well, really, I'm only doing one third of that. So the angle pi over 3 is just if me rotating the rays that far. So you could still have your x and y axis. But my angle is only going to be one third of the way to halfway around a circle, right? Because halfway around a circle is pi radians. So if I say one third of that, it's only going to be up to that distance. OK, kind of. All right. So now we need to remember what is our complementary. Complementary and supplementary. Um, so complementary and supplementary, what we're going to do is you guys remember that when you have two angles, they add up to 90 degrees. Or that wasn't what we did when, when we were looking in geometry. However, when we're talking about radians, two angles that add up, we don't talk, we're not talking about 90 degrees now. What's our radian equivalent of halfway around um, a circle or up to 90 degrees, which we said was if all the way around is pi, then halfway around is going to be pi divided by 2. So you could say pi divided by 2 equals one angle plus another angle. And supplementary was two angles that added up to 180 degrees. But in radian terms, that's pi. So that means pi or an angle plus another angle. Okay. So let's say I'm given one angle, which we said was pi over 3. So let's have theta <coughs> equal pi over 3. Therefore, I can say theta prime equals pi over pi over 2 plus, I'm sorry, minus pi over 3. And you could say theta prime equals pi minus pi over 3. Does everybody see how I manipulated the equations? I just solved for theta prime, so I subtracted theta from both sides. And then I, instead of writing theta, I said theta equals pi over 3. So I substituted in pi over 3 in for theta. Everybody follow me? Questions? No? Now, I, yes? Yeah, for supplementary, it's going to be pi. And for complementary, it's always going to be pi over 2. Every time. Then, now you guys notice, though, these are not the common denominators, right? So, oh, I got all my. So, we got to make sure we get common denominators. So, for here, I got to multiply by 2 over 2. Here, I got to multiply by 3 over 3. Here, I got to multiply by 3 over 3. And so, therefore, in this example, theta prime equals 3 pi over 6 minus. 2 pi over 6. So my complementary angle is going to be pi over 6. And here, my complementary angle is going to equal um, 2 pi over 3. All right, that's it. That's all you guys got to do. Where? Here? 3 minus 1, yeah, exactly. All right. Um, and let's just go.